Understanding Emissions Trading, a guide for English language learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore an important and interesting topic in environmental and economic vocabulary, emissions trading. Whether you're an English learner, a student, or just curious about environmental policies, this video is for you. We'll break down what emissions trading means, how it works, and why it's significant in today's world. So, let's dive in and learn together. Emissions trading, also known as cap and trade, is a market-based approach to controlling pollution. This concept involves setting a limit, cap, on the amount of pollutants, such as carbon dioxide, that industries can emit. The government issues a certain number of permits, and companies can trade these permits with each other. The key idea here is that companies are given a financial incentive to reduce emissions. If a company emits less than its allowance, it can sell its extra permits to other companies that are exceeding their limits. This system encourages companies to invest in cleaner technologies and reduce pollution. Let's break down the process. 1. Setting the cap. The government sets a cap on the total amount of emissions allowed. 2. Issuing permits. Companies receive permits that allow them to emit a certain amount. 3. Trading permits. Companies can buy and sell permits in a market. 4. Reducing emissions. Companies are motivated to reduce emissions to sell their surplus permits. 5. Penalties for exceeding. Companies that exceed their limits without enough permits face penalties. The beauty of emissions trading is that it uses market principles to find the most cost-effective ways to reduce pollution. Emissions trading is crucial for several reasons. Environmental protection. It directly targets the reduction of harmful emissions. Economic efficiency. It allows companies to find the most economical way to reduce emissions. Global impact. Emissions trading is used worldwide to fight against global warming and climate change. Innovation promotion. This system encourages companies to develop new, cleaner technologies. Understanding emissions trading is essential in grasping how economic strategies can be used to tackle environmental challenges. And that's a wrap on our exploration of emissions trading. I hope this video has shed light on this complex but fascinating topic. Remember, learning about topics like emissions trading is not just about expanding your English vocabulary, it's also about understanding how different concepts interact in our world. Thank you for watching, and keep learning!